mental health is whole health. And so quite often we think of the physiological aspects of our health, but we tend to neglect um, the psychological or the mental health piece of it. And we are one person, one whole person, and so the two feed into one another. And I think we're starting to see that in our culture, in, in our society. I believe that's why we see more students coming back for a second degree, as well as individuals having more of an interest in being educated in mental health, even if that may not be their area of expertise once they graduate. The facility here at the Rhode Island Nursing Education Center is state of the art. We have the, the a phenomenal simulation labs. The program is being run by tested, tried, long-standing professionals who have succeeded and are succeeding in the mental health field. The faculty have been very helpful. They are wonderful people. They let you and also teach you how to balance your work life, your student life together to make sure everything runs smoothly. You have students who are placed in inpatient um, hospital settings as well as the partial residential. You have individuals who are being placed in nursing homes as well as in uh, community um, health centers. I would say that choosing the University of Rhode Island program would be extremely beneficial for those who want a more intimate learning experience. We have an exceptional program with a probably smaller than usual faculty size. And if you want more of the hands-on, the faculty who's, who are more committed um, on a daily basis to your education and making sure that you succeed, and that take a personal interest in what's going on in your life outside of the classroom, the University of Rhode Island is the place for you.